Since we all overcame our shyness, I will give you this bag of Dragonite. Take it. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? It kind of looks like these exit mice are just having a party down here with all the lights and everything. <laughs> Hello all you amazing astronauts and welcome back to Mother 2. <laughs> so it's still in Stonehenge base, I believe is what it's called. I usually just call it underneath Stonehenge because, come on, we literally just walk underneath stairs or at least kind of a ladder down beneath it. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be continuing it regardless, because we are actually very close to the boss. So I'm going to try to run away because I don't really want to fight more enemies. And I say that because I actually spent about an hour just to get Aziza's weapon. It's the only one that he could equip, the only one that he could have. Which is the Sword of Kings, I believe is what it's called, or Sword of the Kings. One of those two. Definitely worth it, especially saying we actually <laughs> ended up leveling up quite a bit. I believe everybody's about level 80 or so. But now let's finally open up this present, which we saw last episode. And aside, there's a Pixie's bracelet, which Jane then takes. She will then be the one to equip it because I don't feel like <laughs> moving around a bunch of weapons and stuff like that. And in here, we got ourselves a speed capsule, which we'll use on Brian because he has the lowest amount of speed. And it only goes up by one because I don't actually know if any weapons... Any weapons? <laughs> I don't know if any items like that has a chance to get it more than one, I'm not really sure. But anyways, that's what we have to do, and I'll equip that, and now go into the next room. I didn't actually realize how close we were to the area, but it is what it is. And now, here's all our kidnapped people. Oh no, can't see anything. Jeff, where is Jeff? He's with us, don't worry Tony. We're also going to free all you guys. Show can breathe. Oh no. Oh, it's poor dude. Under nuts. Oh, we can't talk to him though. Can't breathe. No problem here. <laughs> okay. But I just like to imagine that's what Apple Kid says, but that's not what he says though. Next. Next room. Can't last much longer. It's okay, guys. We're going to uh, fight this dude over here, which is literally just a star mount. It's just supposedly stronger, but not really in our case. You're much stronger than our intelligence educated. We were not prepared for that eventuality. The prophecy from the Apple Kid, <laughs> the Apple of Enlightenment, may be true, is what I meant to say. <laughs> but you must not underestimate us. That being said, too, you also shouldn't underestimate us. I'm pretty sure you probably saw what we just did to all the starmen and other enemies that you threw at us. But also, we're just going to bash and neutralize because I believe Starman Deluxe actually has a PS shield on him. I'm not really sure. But either way, I would just rather be safe than sorry. And that's right, you won't call it for any help. Now we will be free to use PS moves, which, <laughs> regardless, it should just KO it because Brian's like level 80. Paula, or Jane in our case, is actually almost level 80 herself. I don't know about the other ones. But we're also going to spy on it. Because if it has a weapon, it actually has a chance to steal it. Which is why... <laughs> which I think is actually kind of amusing. Oh. I don't know what happened there. It must have just like neutralized itself or something like that. I don't know. But also it doesn't have any weapons in it. Okay, so that's good to know. I don't know why this didn't get defeated. But man, yeah, I think Brian just missed. I think that's what it was. I wasn't really paying attention. I was just talking to you guys and just chilling. But there we go. It was defeated. That means we also didn't need to defeat the Starman Super in the background. So that's good to know. There we go. Jada's level 78. That's what I mean by grinding for an hour just for a weapon isn't too bad because at least we leveled up quite a bit. <laughs> we'll take that. We made the uh, fight really, really easy. So this noise doesn't convince me that the down here is not a ship. <laughs> when he defeated the Starman DX, the Stonehenge base sees functioning. Alright. Sweet. That means all the enemies should now be gone. I'm also going to uh, take a drink of water here quickly, guys. Oh, delicious water. You gotta stay hydrated, you guys. You gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> Good job, puppy. Rescued. I give you ribbon. Oh, thank you, Mr. Saturn. 
So that is uh, something that only Jane can use. I don't know why that was so hard to say, but you know what? It doesn't matter, because we go to equip it. Thank you, sir. I go up by quite a bit. My goodness, I forgot how much so. Try to get to that dude now, though. But it's just a sad it's just like, nope. Can't do that now. I expected there to be about a 7% chance that you would rescue me. I just thought it was a good opportunity to meet Mr. Saturn. I also got to meet Dr. Adams. See you. Huh? What? You're looking for the book Over Chemic Shyness? I returned it to Onet Library. Or Onet Library, I still don't really remember how to actually say it. I say it. Lots of ways. <laughs> Please use a book to help the Shy Tender tribe. Anyway, because I knew you, I had an incredible experience. Wow. I was kidnapped by some sort of Yegas toads. <laughs> like, can we just call them toads? Since our imprisonment is now over, I want to start the phase disorder as soon as possible. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about us. You got important things to do. Oh. Okay, under nuts. And you're welcome, dude. Yay, we can now talk to this dude. I was scared, but I knew you'd come and save us courageously. <laughs> I knew I'd be, save, be saved if I was courageously. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> I just sat there waiting long enough. That's what I thought, but I began to lose hope. I'm so glad you saved me after all. Yeah, no problem, dude. It's my pleasure. Hey, Tony. Jeff, Jeff, buddy. Oh, me. Oh, my. You came to rescue me. Pal. Oh, Brian. I'm Tony. I'm Jeff's best friend. I've known him since a long time. Or from a long time. Feeding is hard, guys. <laughs> Always kid up while making a cow on my farm. I didn't think to get ransom kid of the old me. I don't think it was for ransom deal, dude. I'm sorry. You got, you got kidnapped, though. This is the happiest moment of my life. No matter what happens, I'll live, live, live 10,000 years. Thank you for what you've done. Oh, you're welcome, dude. You freaking live for like a thousand years. <laughs> and I guess that being said too, now that it's empty, I guess we could have literally just waited to get that. <laughs> also, hmm. Just case, let's just use the exit mouse because we have it and it'll take us a little bit to actually get back out. So, <laughs> I don't actually remember who has the exit mouse. So, is it you, Jeff? No. Who has. The exit mouse, okay. Nah, we'll just yeah, we'll just walk out then. Alright, here we are. And already getting attacked off the bat, like wow bear, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> hey, at least it is this something really easy to take care of. We should also just be able to run away if it allows us to run away. That's right, bear. We don't want to take care of you. Now <laughs> to finally teleport over back to on it. Which eventually we were going to do, I just can't remember if we actually needed to do that for a story, so I'm actually glad we waited to do that. And here we go, we're just gonna use this one because it's a lot easier to control, plus it's literally just a circular motion. The only way to really get it to stop is by running into Stonehenge in our case. <laughs> Oops. We're right outside of a hotel. So weather. <laughs> so <laughs> weather. So when we have lots of money on us, it just works. Because, well, ATM, first of all, but also we could finally rest. So there we go. Sadly, Jeff didn't fix his broken trumpet that was on him. Hello. Good morning. Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in Onet time Times. Onet Library is facing crisis. Many books, borrows, have given library books away or never returning them. <laughs> I don't know what I just said, but I, I yeah, I said something. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I just kept $50 on us, and then I also just saved, because it was just like, at that point, I didn't want to reset all those things. And now we're just going to the library, which I think is on top, because the mirror's residence is right in the middle. <laughs> and I just called it the mirror's residence. Gosh, I wonder if I am a fan of Bajwara's Mask or not. <laughs> I don't think so at all, guys. <laughs> Here we are. Back to the library. So I really don't remember if we need to talk to the receptionist or if we just need to go and look at a bookshelf. I think we just need to interact with one of these bookshelves. There we go. There are books other than Overcoming Shyness. 
And you found a book of overcoming shyness. I was literally just off by one. <laughs> but there we go, we got that. And before we actually head back to Tenda Village, I'm actually gonna go back over to Ness's home, or Brian's home in our case, and speak to, you know, his mom. Because I don't know if he will have the homesickness or not soon. It's possible, never know. So I just would, would rather. <laughs> Tadaima! Aww. Hello, baby. I like being at home, relaxing quietly. Can't you see I don't want to go outside? I mean, I was just saying hi. I haven't seen you in who knows how long. You're back! Don't bother yourself talking to me now. You look too tired. Mother's out of sand these things. Eat some salmon and scoot up to bed. Aww, thank you, Mom. I appreciate that. Another thing I actually want to check out now is talking to... Stacy or Tracy, I don't quite remember what her <laughs> name is. Despite, you know, calling her over Star Trek Express, I would just like to know if she has stuff on her. Oh, it's my land now. Oops. What do you want from me? I want to store a few things now because we actually have a lot of stuff. We have broken harmonica, which I'm actually just going to put away. F I'm just going to put away the broken items for now just because I may as well just fix everything after this, so we're going to do that and a broken trump, but that will be everything. Then, yep, that's everything. Thank you very much, Stacy. I was gonna call it that for now, <laughs> but there we go. So now, off to Tenda Village, which we should actually just be able to teleport to. I don't know if it'll teleport us inside of the village or if we'll need to, uh, you know, go into the cave. I don't really know, but we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Sadly, Brian doesn't know <laughs> <laughs> the same kind of, uh, okay, there we go. Tenta Village. Bruh, talk is so hard, guys. <laughs> okay, let's see. Are we going to be inside of Tenta Village? Nope. We're going to have to enter the cave. Wasn't really sure, but I guess that makes sense, considering you don't usually get teleported inside caves and stuff like that. But, uh, it doesn't really matter. We are going to talk to the chief now, I believe. We're all shy. Rumor I heard, but you fix shadows there is. Where? Don't know. Just a rumor. Okay, there we go. So we'll use it then. Oh, Jeff has it. I'm so used to going to Aziz now. <gasps> Book! Can't fix shadows. Thanks. Relax. I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book makes my hands, makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I'll really take the time to read it to everyone. Oh, thank you, Chief. The leader of the Tender Tribe read Overcoming Shyness to everybody. <laughs> I think this is so cute. Chat, chat, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some ten, ten, ten crot in return. Tender crot is a type of dish that all tend to like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Oh, thank you. Ryan... Brian lends a leader of Tenda try with the book of overcoming shyness. Oh, it's so cute! I love it. And you got Tenda Kraut this time. Sweet. Uh, okay, we're also going to get our picture taken. I totally forgot <laughs> that the amazing photographer that takes pictures instantaneous was down here as well. So say fuzzy pickles, fuzzy pickles, which apparently. Originally, it was just going to be cheese sandwich. I don't know why I decided to change that for the English translation, but you know what? <laughs> oh, well. Hey, you. I have a happy little question for you. Boom. Boom. Are you sure this is the correct player's name? If not, if it's not right, you could change it. Yep. That is correct. So we're just going to press the start button. Boom. Are you sure this is what you want? You are happy with name. You are absolutely certain. Yeah, I thought that you made up your mind. <laughs> Since we all overcame our shyness, I will give you this bag of Dragonite. Take it. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Now, I want to know what all these guys have to say. But first and foremost, I want to know what this guy has to sell. Unless this is a resting hole. Yeah, this is a resting hole. No, thank you. I'm sorry. I already rest at our, at our home. I've just tried to remember where the store is. I believe it's over here, yes? I don't shop here. I like the Horn of Life. Give me the Horn of Life. I give you something. 
Path list. Oh, interesting. Horn of Life. Which we should actually have on us. I'm not really sure. Let's just see about that. And... Looks like we do not. Okay. So, looks like I'm going to be calling... <laughs> our sister again. <laughs> huh. Doesn't look like I really have one. But at some point, we are still going to have a Horn of Life. So, it's just like we could just head over to Saturn Valley and buy one there. Or something like that. But either way, it doesn't really matter because... What we gotta do is head down to our next area, which is over here. So this dude was shot before, and he's a really strong tender. Powerful! I so show everyone! I got it! I got it! Oh yeah, dude! Wow! I assume it got stuck up on the roof. You are really strong. So, let's now head down into it. Because we are going to go into our next area. Let's talk to the stone over here. Good evening. I am a talking rock. But the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in a labyrinth a ways ahead. The lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock. It is important. That is what we will do. <laughs> oh yeah. But first we got to get past this area over here. You guys can't really see it, but I have its big smile on my face but uh, I think for now then since we have to go through all this area anyways I think I shall leave it here and I also want to get the bat really badly so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up smash that subscribe button yell at the comments or just talk at the comments you know whatever do what to do and I'll see you in the next video peace